I want to give you the heads up. Never question God. Never question God. When you're about to transition from one career move, one relationship, or one situation to the next, it's because you've gotten every confirmation in the world that it's your season to transition from where you are to where you're looking to be. Most of us are so afraid of the unfamiliar. Most of us are afraid of things that we have never done, the type of people and friends and environment, city, state, or country that we've never lived in before, this new career path. I went to school and studied for eight years to become this, but then another random opportunity presented itself that had nothing to do with what I studied for. Don't ever question God. If you wanna make God laugh, tell him your plans. I am a walking representative of a man that had no plan, had no visions, had no ideas as to what my life and career path was gonna be. And as I stumbled upon these random blessings and opportunities and situations that I never prayed for, I never asked for, and I never seen them coming, I had to go out of my way to figure out a way to be the best version of me that I could be within these unexpected situations. So I'm letting y'all know a lot of y'all sit up and you, you map out and plan out and organize and orchestrate, and that's a part of becoming successful. Preparation meets opportunities. I'll say it again. Preparation meets opportunities. You prepare, you prepare, you prepare, you think, you analyze, you organize. Hold on. You prep, you plan, you organize, you map out, you think, you think, you strategize, you regroup, you change up your team. You're like a captain organizing, orchestrating everything, ready for the opportunity to present itself. Most of y'all are impatient. If it doesn't happen as fast as you want it to happen, you say, fuck it. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. God will never give you something somebody else is supposed to have. And if you want to make God laugh, you tell him your plan. I am here and I'm asking that everyone who is receiving this message, try your best to trust God. Trust God's timing. And when he is sending you bold, unapologetic confirmation, bold signs and wonders, use those as confirmation. Sometimes you'll be at a gas station and some random person will walk up to you and say something. And you'll be like, I'm going through that right now. How did you even know to say that to me? When God is trying to steer you in a particular, uh, you know, in a particular direction, it's like little pieces of popcorn down a hallway and you're just picking up one piece of popcorn at a time. And at some point you're going to get to that whole bucket. Blessings and opportunities. It's got your name all over it. And I'll say this last thing. A relationship with God is an individual experience. What does that mean? Some of y'all want to believe in God the same way. Some of y'all want to believe in God or have your interpretations of the Bible to be the same way. I could read something in the Bible and I process it, process it and interpret it a very different way than the way that you process it and interpret it. God sends me visions and ideas and confirmations about what I'm supposed to do, who I'm supposed to do it with, when I'm supposed to do it, what city, state, or country I'm supposed to do it in, I listen because that's my individual relationship and vision that God sent me. 
Most of y'all have visions and ideas that are sent to you and you're trying to explain it to other people and because they were never sent the vision, because they were never sent the idea, because they were never sent the timing around when to move and execute the vision and idea, most of y'all say, well, maybe it's not meant to be. That was something that God sent you. That was your vision, your idea, your timing. It's not his or not hers. So what ends up happening is your family, your friends, your business associates, the people that are in your life and your surroundings, they end up talking you out of your individual experience that you have with God. I know I've mentioned the word God a million times over. I'm just having a moment right now. I don't want to be over spiritual. I don't want to tell y'all anything. I'm letting y'all know that I am a direct reflection of what God had in mind for me. These are my gifts, my talents. These are my movies. These are my opportunities, my situations that had my name all over it long before I even knew it. And he sent me bold signs and wonders along the way. Sent me bold signs and wonders along the way. And I wasn't afraid of the unfamiliar. I wasn't afraid of things that I've never done before. And my life and career has changed forever. This is mine. It doesn't belong to anybody else. It wasn't anybody else's gifts and talents, visions or ideas. They were mine. They were individually sent to me. Stop trying to talk people into what God told you to do. Just do it. Stop sharing all of the visions and ideas that God sends you. Do it. Go online, do all the research, look at videos. You're pretty much not doing anything that hasn't been done before. But sometimes, in most cases, God will send these individual bold visions and send you the timing around it. And then you end up talking to them, hey man, I just had this. And they'd be like, man, what the hell are you talking about? You don't see it? You don't see it? Man, I think, I, think, I think in two months from now, that's when I'm supposed to do it. Man, if you do it in two months, man, you're going to boom, boom, boom. You end up letting people talk you out of something that's inside of you that you're supposed to do. Now, I don't want anybody to call me up and say, man, I listened to your message and I end up doing all of these abrupt things and it's all your fault. It's not my fault. This is not my message for you because I'm not God and I am not Jesus, nor would I ever try and play the role of God or Jesus. When you receive the message, when you receive the timing, when you receive the confirmations that these people that are around you are sucking you dry, sucking you dry. So how could you have any love left inside of your heart to take care of your kids or your family or any of the things that you're supposed to do when you got these people around you that are sucking you dry? Ah, I got nothing left. I'm going down. I'm melting. I'm melting. You're still alive because God is not done with you. Whatever your religious beliefs are and preferences, you can be Muslim. You can be Arab, you can be Buddhist, you can be Jehovah's Witness, Christian, um, the Nation of Islam, whatever the case may be, whatever your religious preferences or beliefs are, you have to pray and ask God to send you bold, bold confirmations and visions around the timing of what you're doing, when you're supposed to do it, and who you're supposed to do it with. And ask him also to get rid of all things, people, and situations that are getting in the way of you reaching your ultimate goal. If you make it to the end of this video, I want you to write, I am determined to reach my goals. I am determined to reach my goals. The last thing I will say to this, and this is very unfortunate, and this is very sad, what I'm about to say. When you're about to make those extreme jumps and leaps, it's always going to be your friends and your family and that man or that woman that you're in a relationship with 
They will be the first ones to try and talk you out of what God has put on your heart to do. If you have a support system in place, that's beautiful. Do it, baby. I don't understand it. I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't really see what you see, but I'm in full support of you. Go make it happen. But in most cases, if you open up your mouth trying to explain to people what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, and, and who you're supposed to do it with, they will be the first people to try and talk you out of a life-changing opportunity and blessing. Keep in mind, out of sight, out of mind. If you live in the middle of nowhere and you're trying to get on, ain't nobody going to find you out there. You have to be in the city, in the state, or the country that could help you to move and advance the things that you're trying to do. If you're in the technology world, you need to be in Silicon Valley, out there in San Francisco, the Bay Area, where all of these technology companies are. You need to be where it's at. Talking to me as a heart surgeon about things that has to do with dentistry, I'm not going to be able to help you to move things further. Or, or to help mold and shape you as a better heart surgeon. Heart surgeons need to be around heart surgeons. Singers need to be around singers and, and actors and, and folks that talk and speak your language so that they can help you to move the needle and further your wisdom, knowledge, and insight on how to become successful. All of you motherfuckers hanging out with all these random ass people and you gifted and talented, they cannot contribute to your ultimate level of success that you're on your way to. They're like random ass people that you're just having all of these conversations about with. They can't help you. They can't give you no insight. They can't inspire you to go to that next level because they're not even on your same level of thinking. Share this video. I don't get paid to do this. I don't get paid to do this, but I am being paid because my spirit is so full. My spirit is so full. I feel like I'm doing right by God. Who am I to be successful? A multimillionaire, movies, singing, acting, meeting all of the most successful people in the world. I have this wisdom, knowledge, and insight that God continues to bless me with. And I'm going to keep it to myself. I'm doing a disservice with my blessings. I'm not insecure or threatened by the idea that you could take this information and become successful. Here's my new message at the end. It's not lonely at the top if you help somebody else get there. It's not lonely at the top if you help somebody else get there. Share this video. I repeat Share this video. I want this video on top of everybody's timeline. You don't know it, but you're a part of the love circle. And the more people see this video, the love, the inspiration, the insight, it's spreading. I love you. Man, woman, teenager, whoever you are, I love you. God bless.